Stephen Covey, in his leadership book called The Seven Habits of a Highly Effective Leader, he talks about an idea called beginning with the end in mind. And he gives a thought experiment to help his readers do that. And I want to do that with all of us today. Stephen Covey, he says, imagine yourself going to a funeral. In your mind's eye, see yourself driving there. You park, you get out of the car, you you walk into the funeral home, and you're smelling the flowers, you're hearing the soft organ music playing. You look around and you see so many different familiar faces, your family, your friends, and then you make your way to the front of the auditorium and you're shocked because it's you and the casket. It's your funeral. And you make your way to a a seat and you grab a program and you see that at your funeral, this is three years from now, this is your funeral, you see that there's gonna be four speakers a family member, a friend, a coworker, and somebody from your church or an organization that you're involved with in the community. And then Covey says this, and I want to ask you to do this. Consider, what do you want those speakers to say about you? What do you want them to say about you as a husband or a wife, as a mom, as a dad, as an employee, friend? member of your church. As you look around from your seat, you see all the people around you. What kind of a difference do you want to have made in the lives of those people? And it's a great exercise to do this. It really is because it gives us perspective. So much of what our world holds up as success, what it means to live a successful life, when you do that exercise, it doesn't really hold up. I mean, success in our world today is being rich and famous and healthy and attractive and influential. And are those the kinds of things you want people to say about you at your funeral? That, you know what, I didn't really know him because he was never really around or present or in relationship with me, but he had a lot of money. I didn't, you know, know her super well. I do know she was mean to everybody, but she had a lot of social media followers, had a big platform. So my my question for you is, what do you actually want people to say? And let me make it even a more difficult enterprise. Let me narrow it down and say, what is the one thing you would want people to say about you at your funeral? If they had to sum up your life in one word, what would it be? If on your tombstone there was only one word besides your name, what would you want it to be? Here lies Matt. And he was blank. Fill in the blank for you. What would you want it to be? The text we're going to talk about this morning is so important because it gives us perspective, like Covey's exercise. And what we're going to see is the answer to that question. What's the one word on your tombstone? We're going to see the answer to that question from God's perspective. When it's all said and done, what does God want most for you, for your legacy? We're going to see that in the scripture today. And so if you have your Bible, I want to invite you to turn to 1 Corinthians 4. 1 Corinthians 4. 